Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Merrill. I recommend that you watch part one before you see part two. Uh, just click on the image if you haven't seen part one yet. This is a very important video for anyone who wants to learn portraiture. In this video, I will model the formula taught in part one to teach you how to draw a face from your memory. In order to make things easy to remember, I will demonstrate my process step by step. People who memorize these steps will be able to draw a human face from memory without a reference image. Let's get started. Step 1. Draw an oval. Next, put a horizontal line through the oval, slightly higher than the halfway point. Then, add four evenly spaced dots. These four dots will mark the inner and outer corners of each eye. Remember that there is one eye length in between the two eyes. It is imperative that the dots are evenly spaced. You will also need two bigger dots to mark the center of each eye. Step 2. Now add a rectangular shape. The rectangle should be taller than it is wide. The corners of the rectangle should line up with the two dots that mark the center of each eye. Step 3. Add the ears and eyebrows. The ears most often line up with the top of the eye and the bottom of the nose. Step 4. Add the eye shape. Generalized eyes are almond shaped. You will see the bottom of the iris but not the top. Most eyes also have a second line for the eyelid above the eye. Step 5. Add the nose. Notice that I did not add lines for the bridge of the nose. The only lines that exist on a nose are towards the bottom. The rest is smudged. Step 6. Add the lips. Generally, the top lip is M-shaped and smaller than the bottom one, which is bowl-shaped. When the face is calm, the corners of the mouth usually do not line up with the middle of the eye. Step 7. Add hair. Alright, you gotta let me get on my soapbox for a minute. So, my step-by-step -step videos, I kinda give you the solution. Uh, you know, we're drawing actual people, and, um, you know, it's, it's solved for you. I wanna stress, once you know this formula, you know, you wanna get creative with it. Uh, you wanna vary it, you wanna experiment. Uh, so I challenge you to do that. Um, I would treat this a little bit differently than usual. Um, anyway, first thing that I did was I erased the uh, the lines for the formula. Uh, eventually you're not going to even need those lines. You'll know the structure yourself um, and you'll be able to you know draw this pose from memory. Now this series that I'm doing, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of different poses. You know, so you're going to know the formula for the side view. You can know the three quarters view. Uh, there might even be more than that. And you know, I'm going to give you evidence, just like I did in the first video, um, for the other two poses at least. If this video gets popular, of course, I'm going to do even more. Anyway, let me get back to the instruction. Um, I just basically used my blending stump. Um, and my paintbrush, uh, you know, just to cover the face, uh, like I usually do. Those are some handy tools. Um, they get better with age. You know, the more graphite that you have on them, uh, the dirtier that they are. Unlike, ironically, it's a paintbrush, because when you paint, you're supposed to keep things, like, really clean. But, um, you know, the, the more graphite that you get on the paintbrush, uh, the better, because it just gives you the ability to do a fast coat of um, uh, graphite. Yes, I was about to say paint, but graphite. Um, I'm doing this one pretty much from my head. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it's a little bit tougher to do. Um, you know, it requires a little bit more creativity. I'm somebody who likes a reference image. Um, to be honest, I have a bunch of uh, it, it, pictures up in the room where I do all of my artwork. Um, just reference images that I use, yeah, general reference images. And... Of course, I cheated and I looked at, I glanced at those because um, even with this formula, you still need a little bit of help. You still need some reference. Um, 
but basically my goal for this was to give you the the basic structure of the face and give you an easy way to remember it um, so remember one eye length in between the two eyes um, straight down from the middle of the eye um, well, a little bit uh, more narrow than that um, I was gonna say is, is, is the mouth um, yeah it's, it's more narrow than uh, straight down from the eye um, the spacing in between the mouth and the eyes that varies that's what I meant by the rectangle you know just to clarify um, usually it's kind of a shorter rectangle a lot more similar to a square uh, than a tall rectangle doing my final touch-ups on the face when you draw um, female skin especially young younger uh, female skin it, it requires like a lot of smoothing with the paintbrush um, and that's what you saw me finish up there anyway there's the link to um, part three and um, I, I also have a, a human proportion for figure drawing video and the differences between the male and female uh, skulls I hope you enjoyed this one.